What's big but thin and has incredible picture quality with pure colors? This is the NanoCell Technology TV. Hey guys, Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV and in this video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing the LG Nano 8665-inch 4K NanoCell TV with AI ThinQ, so keep watching. Now firstly, let's start off with the unboxing experience and what comes inside of the box. Now as soon as you open the TV's box, you'll find the 3-pin plug, the TV stand base, the TV rear stand and cover. Next, you'll find the TV itself after lifting up the box cover. Then in front of the TV, you'll find a smaller accessories bag which contains the magic remote, the owner's manual, an RCA to 3.5mm cable converter, the warranty card, the TV stand cable management cover, the component cable to 3.5mm cable converter. You'll also find the included screws and finally a AAA batteries for the remote. Now to set it up, just fix the TV stand to the stand's base of the TV and screw them accordingly. Next, fix the stand at the back of the TV, screw them on, then insert the stand's cover and you're done. Now looking at the TV's dimensions, with the TV stands, it measures at 1451mm wide, 910mm height and 324mm of depth. So, grab your measuring tape and start measuring your TV console. If it fits, that's good. Or you could get a wall mount separately as it will reduce the dimensions of the height to about 840mm and drastically reduce the depth at only 64mm. Now let's dive in into the technical specs of the Nano 8665 inch. Firstly, the unit that I have is a 65-inch variant that comes with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels. Now, the screen comes packed with a 4K nano cell display type of IPS panel. It also comes with a true motion of TM200 with a refresh rate of 100Hz. Now, looking more into the detail of the ports and buttons, there's the power button and the selection button for manual control of the TV settings right in the middle. Now, this is helpful in case for some strange reason you have forgotten to change your remote's battery. It happens. So, that's a great feature. Then at the sides, there are two HDMI and one USB port for easy access and then looking from behind. Since it is a smart TV, there is a LAN cable port provided for a direct wired internet connection, an optical digital audio output port, the usual AV in, the audio out headphones jack and the component in. Next to it, there is the antenna cable in for satellite TV. Then finally at the top row, there's the third and fourth HDMI port where the third is using the HDMI 2.1 of the latest HDMI EARC or ARC port that supports 4K up to a whopping 120 hertz. Then finally, there are two more USB ports over there. So before we go through all the key features and my overall consumption experience, let's first talk about what is NanoCell. Now, LG's NanoCell technology uses particles to absorb unwanted light wavelengths and enhance the purity of red and green colors displayed on the screen. And in addition, they create a subtler, more accurate color that stays true even at wide viewing angle and this makes your viewing experience more pleasing to the eye and has a right balance of colors compared to other LED TVs out right now. Now looking at the TV software, it is using LG's WebOS version 5 which is hands down my favorite TV OS and trust me guys, 
Once you have started using this web OS interface, you just can't go back to any other as it is one of the most fluid software and navigation systems with a dock style of arrangement of the apps and it also has the app store called the LG Content Store where there are many apps for you all to download from the Content Store which includes apps like Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, WWE, Apple TV and many more. Then looking at the home screen, you will also find the option to the home dashboard which is powered by LG's ThinQ AI where you can see options like connecting mobile phones, Apple's AirPlay to mirror your Mac OS or iOS devices screen wirelessly to the TV and Bluetooth sound share to use the TV speaker to play music directly from your smartphone. Then the next column, you'll find the TV inputs like live TV and HDMI inputs. Then there's also a column for sound out and storage as well. Then finally, there is the home IoT where if you have any compatible devices from LG, where I got my washer from LG connected, where you can view and monitor them over here as well. And finally, coupled with the Magic Remote, it gives you a super easy experience as well, especially with the built-in cursor on the remote to have like a mouse-like experience, which brings me to my next topic, which is of course the Magic Remote. So the Magic Remote has dedicated entertainment services buttons like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video to easily access those services. Then other than the cursor which I mentioned earlier, the scrolling feature also helped to quickly scroll within the TV as well. And also worth highlighting is the voice command button which you can access the voice assistant to do cool voice assistant related commands. Alright, now that I've covered all the technical side of things, allow me now to tell you how my daily consumption was having owned the TV for close to a month. So as I mentioned earlier that the nano cell technology enhances the color of purity as the TV is powered with LG's Alpha 7 Gen 3 AI processor. So the overall color reproduction and the contrast was surely the best that I've seen within this range. As a content creator, I really love the filmmaker mode which was really cool as it delivers the movies exactly how the director or the filmmaker wanted. So it was nice to see different movies where you'll be surprised by the excellent color grading unique to each movie and series that you watch. And when it comes to having a cinematic experience, it also comes with a Dolby Vision IQ that extends the benefits of having Dolby Vision beyond HDR. I have also noticed that it will intelligently adjust the screen brightness and the color of the contrast by genre according to your lighting conditions. And with this NanoCell TV, I get to watch all the movies the way they should be without any compromise. So the next interesting experience for me was the overall viewing angle where I had the best viewing angle up to 178 degrees. So there was this one time where I got a bunch of friends coming over to watch a football match and one of them, I'm not going to mention who, took my best seat. You know how it is. And I found that with this TV, I did not find any issues no matter which angle I set as the color reproduction was accurate natural and consistent across the whole screen. Now, as a person who loves great sound quality, although it has just a two-channel sound, it uses a very unique AI algorithm to mimic a 5.1 surround sound with the AI sound, the ultra surround mode and the AI acoustic tuning. I did feel that the speakers on the TV were great and quite loud for a TV speaker so you don't really need to get a soundbar especially if you're living in a smaller space where the TV entertainment system shares the same wall as your neighbors and with the clear voice 3 algorithm you can increase the overall voice and reduce background sounds to make night viewing very good. And the fact that the TV comes with Dolby Atmos that delivers an immersive audio experience I could appreciate that as well. And finally, gaming on the TV was also great since there is the AMD FreeSync Premium featured on the LG Nano 86 model. Now with this feature, it synchronizes the refresh rates of TVs and consoles, enabling a smooth fluid gaming. Not only that, but NanoCell's variable refresh rate of VRR and the compliance of HDR gaming interests or HGIG also lets me experience a higher picture quality with less stuttering while playing games with a really low input lag. So I'm looking to play all my games non-stop. There goes my work. Lah. 
Now in conclusion, this TV is a TV that I fully recommend with its amazing technology and features and the overall experience as I mentioned earlier. The image quality and most importantly, the software navigation just made using this Nano 8665-inch 4K Nano Cell TV a very pleasing experience from a day-to-day -day basis. Now as for the price here in Malaysia, it retails at 8,499 ringgit and I'll leave a link down below for you guys to get yourself one. Now if you guys have any questions to ask, do let me know at the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as possible as usual as I did not want this video to be extremely technical and really long as well. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys found this video helpful in making your purchase decision. If you did, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. My name is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in my next video. So yes, grab your measuring tape. Should I go and bring my measuring tape? Maybe I should. So, grab your measuring tape and start measuring your TV console. If it fits there. <laughs> Why it fell down? Sungguh tidak macho.